Hey guys, this is Howard Ubertech. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to replace the captive pins for your AR lower. This method will make it a little bit easier and also less chances of having the detent fly across the room. You would basically use these instructions in case you had to replace either one of your pins. This video is for repair purposes only. Before we get started, please subscribe and tell a friend about the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Now let's get on with the video. I'll be using Tyrant Design CNC's AR Enhanced Takedown Pins to show you how to do this. If you're interested in picking these up, you can check them out on our Instagram below. You'll need a few things to complete this the way I do it. You'll need a pivot pin detent depressor, number 080-216-010. In order to find this tool, you can Google this right here and it should bring you to a page where you can purchase this tool. Next, you'll need a clevis pin, quarter by two. You'll also need a 1 16th punch. For this AR lower, the 1 16th punch is not compatible, so I'll have to use something smaller, but in most cases, you'll need a 1 16th punch. First thing you're gonna do is remove the lower like you see here, and if you need help removing the lower, you can click on the link to the top right, and that'll take you to a video explaining how to get to this point right here. Once you get to this point right here, come back to this video, and you can finish following the steps that I show in this video. So let's remove this pin right here first. They're captive, and what that means is when the pin is like this and you push the pin out, it doesn't come all the way out. It's captive inside the lower. So what we need to do is we need to remove this pin and put the new pin in. So if you look right here, you can see that there's a detent right there, and that detent rides along inside this channel right here. So what we have to do is we have to press the detent inward, and by doing that, that will free up the pin pin to be removed. So I'll show you how we're going to do that. So you have this little hole right here on your pin. You would take your 1 16th punch and you would put it in this hole and you would depress the detent underneath it. Now again, like I said, this one is too thick for my pin. I have this uh, scar armors tool and so it has a thinner punch on here and that's what I'll be using to depress the detent inward. We're going to put this into this hole right here and we're gonna push inward like this. So it's gonna look like this. See how like you could see under there where I'm pushing in and it's pressing that detent inward. So once we press and the detent is pushed in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate the pin clockwise like that. So let's, let's do that. So push in and then we're gonna turn it clockwise and then we're gonna remove the punch from the pin. And now what we've done is we've captured the detent and the spring further in here. So this way we could remove the pin, but we can't just remove the pin yet because if you did, the detent and the spring would come flying out. And that's where the clevis pin comes in handy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the clevis pin through this side like this. You could see the clevis pin has these holes in it. We're gonna make sure that these holes on the clevis pin are not facing the detent right here. Because otherwise the detent would just fly right through the hole and it defeats the whole purpose of this whole process. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly replace this pin for the clevis pin. So the best way to explain it is you're gonna keep pressure onto this pin right here because the detent and spring are always gonna be pushing this way. So we have to push towards that to combat the pressure that the detent is giving you on the pin while pushing the clevis pin this direction, okay, to replace that pin. So I'm gonna use my thumb to push this way and then use this hand to slide the clevis pin this way, pushing this pin outward, okay? So it's gonna look something like this. So I'm pushing, keeping the tension onto that pin. And then here comes the clevis pin. Okay, now the clevis pin has taken over. Now the pin is out. Okay, so now we have the detent and the spring are still captured inside the lower. And the clevis pin just basically replaced the old pin. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the clevis pin with the new pin. And the detent that's in here is going to go right into this channel right here. We're basically gonna do the same thing we did to remove the pin, but we're gonna do it in reverse to add the pin. Now again, when you replace this, you're gonna put it right against here and you're gonna push this way. When you do that, you still have to keep pressure pressure on this pin going this way as well. So you're, you're gonna have two pressure points, pushing to the right and pushing back this way. And the reason why is because this pin is creating pressure 
against the detent and the detent against the pin. So the detent's gonna wanna push the pin this way and you have to combat that. So what I like to do is I, I like to keep my thumb here while I'm pushing over. I don't have to remove the clevis pin with this hand because we're pushing it with this pin. And you would push it like this over to the right while keeping your thumb here and pushing against the spring pressure. This is how you do it. So I'm going to try to slide it over just enough. Boom. I replaced it. I got the pressure onto the detent and now I'm just sliding it over like that. Now I've, I've actually replaced the clevis pin. I could take this out, put that down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn, I'm turning this pin until I get the detent in here to go into this channel. So you're going to continue to turn it and you'll hear a click. Listen, and you could see the detent went into that channel and hear it as well. So now the pin is captive. Boom, there you go. Now you've replaced and repaired the pin without having the spring and detent come flying out. For me, this is the easiest way of doing it. So now let's move on to replacing the rear captive pin. Okay, so here's the rear captive pin. Again, it's captive, it doesn't come out. So in order to remove this pin, we need to move this detent further back into the lower. I hope that makes sense. There's a pin here pushing downward into this channel right here. And so what we need to do is we need to get that detent and push it back this way. Now this tool that I was telling you about earlier, it's a pivot pin detent depressor. And as you can see, it looks like almost like an Allen key. It has this little angle cut into it. How you use the tool is by putting this part right here with the angled part facing towards the detent. You're gonna put it into this channel right here and it goes in like this. Now that angle part is gonna go underneath the detent and then we can push the detent back this way. And before we could put that tool in there, one important part is when you push the, the pin all the way this way, the detent goes into a little captive hole on some of these pins. So what we need to do is we need to back that out just a little bit so that detent isn't going in the hole at the very end of the pin. So you want it to be out this way enough to get the tool in, but not too far in where the detent falls into place. What we do is we take the detent tool, we put it in like this with the angle part going towards this way. You're gonna put your thumb here so the pin doesn't go forward with the tool. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna push the tool towards the detent like that and see how it slipped underneath the detent. And now we're gonna turn the pin like this, just to make sure you saw what I did. This channel right here was facing this way. Once I got the tool underneath the detent, I was able to spin the pin counterclockwise and now the detent is captured in here and not in this channel anymore. So now we can remove the pin completely. This is just something that I do. I put my finger inside here over this hole right there, right where the pin is. That's so this way the detent doesn't come flying out to the right. So I've removed the pin slightly, real easily. Don't just pull it out real fast. And see, now the detent is captured just like that. So now what we need to do is we need to put the new pin in. And how we do that is by using the old pin. And I'll show you what I do. I go in through this side with the old pin and I push it against the detent. I'm gonna push the detent back this way. And by pushing pressure on the pin towards the detent, it'll stop the detent from coming back down because it's spring loaded. So I'll show you what I mean. So see, I'm taking the angle part, getting underneath the detent and I'm pushing the detent back up. Now again, I'm applying pressure this way with this finger with the pin. And you notice that the detent is not coming back down this way. So now I have the detent captured with the old pin. Now we can take the new pin and do what we did with the clevis, which is you take the new pin and you're basically going to replace it. You're going to butt it against here, right? This is the old pin. You're going to butt it against the pin and then you're going to push real fast to the right and it should capture the new pin. So now I can remove the old pin and here's the new pin. We're gonna rotate this pin until the detent falls into this channel right here. So I'm gonna turn, turn. You hear that click? That means the detent went into this channel right here and now it's captive again. So here's what it looks like. Boom, 
and boom. So congratulations guys. You have repaired and replaced both captive pins in your AR lower. To me, this is the best method not to lose any detent or springs when replacing the pins. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments below. If you thought the video was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and tell a friend about the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.